artist paintings um, teaches us the history of our country and uh, it's really expressive in a way and uh, yeah, it's really interesting how these, this is a tool that can really uh, influence us in a modern era. What I learned from the visit today, I learned about the different administrations, I learned how beautiful and how powerful our culture is. Um, well, as somebody who started to love painting and who's also doing painting sometimes, I noticed there's a lot of strokes and a lot of techniques that I learned from the painting and just looking at the pictures and the paintings from afar, it gives you a very wonderful idea on what to do next to your name, next uh, What I learned about the gallery tour today is that um, art is not about what we just see, but what it makes us feel. I think it's important that we know art history. And as a Filipino, sobrang nakakatuwa na maalala natin kung saan tayo nagsunod. It's so nice to be here because it reminisces me of what I learned from elementary and college years. And it's so much more to learn about the Philippines. See you all soon. Hi, I'm at Gateway Gallery right now and my favorite painting was the women's painting. It's painted by women and it's for women and it's Women's Month now so I think all of us felt a little empowered. So I encourage you to come and look and just be educated and enjoy the art. It's Fantastic. Hi everyone, my name is Julia Camilla Hosebier. We're here at Gateway Gallery. I think that my favorite piece today was a piece which showcased women revolutionaries. Um, it was amazing to see the contributions of women to our contemporary Filipino society. What I've learned here in Gateway Gallery is our history. I've learned that you need to learn your past so that you will know what you can do today, what you can do to the future. And there's a lot of learnings that I've learned in our past, like the presidents, the people who colonized here. And it's really important. And also, it's really important to take aware of arts. It's really like this one. It's ball pen. It's excite. They called it an excite. And far, when you, when you look at far, it's like, wow, what's this one? But if you will come here, you will see every detail. Like it's bullpen. Like when you're bo yes, it's bullpen. When you're bored in school and you will draw something on your notebook, that's art and that was made by Filipinos. Filipinos are very talented, guys. So come and visit Gateway Gallery. Thank you. My favorite painting is the one over there. Where you is I am from USD and I'm a fine arts graduate. about my tour for today was of course about the history and about uh, Nino Aquino and all the uh, martial law and how uh, all our presidents was also colonized by the Chinese people so I don't know, it's, it's fun, it's nice to widen my information towards or to recap my information towards the Filipino history My favorite painting was um, towards there, yes. Like you, you um, all uh, where all the women were gathered. Yes, that one. Yes, because it, it symbolizes the women empowerment. So it's like, and this month, it's very relevant to this month's um, issue that we are having our women empowerment month. Yeah. Hello. Um, my favorite painting I watched is this one because it shows the different uh, tribes in the Philippines and I am proud to say that I came from Tagabawa tribe. So this is it. It shows uh, how many tribes here in the Philippines and how many are we are still proud to be like Magubu and grow things, still growing here in the Philippines. Hey everyone, this is Samantha Bernardo, your Bini Bini 27 for Bini Bini Philippines 2019. I am inviting everyone to visit the scenic side side here at Gateway Gallery at the Araneta Center. Guys, this is my favorite painting because the painter of this is the first Muslim national artist of our country. And I think his name is 
Abdul Mari Asha Ima. So we should be proud of our culture. And today, as an advocate of preservation of culture and arts, I believe kailangan natin makita to lahat tayo mga Pilipino. Kasi ito ang ating kultura, ito ang ating wika, at ito ang, ang kaluluwa ng ating bansa. And as Miss Philippines, as Binibini Pilipinas, we should know all these things as well. So I'm very proud to be Filipino and I'm very blessed to be here. Hi, so we're here at the Gateway Gallery and I'm not really that well versed in art, but I do love Philippine history. So I love that they were able to uh, combine the, both of them because this is really my interest. Uh, so we have the pre-colonial paintings. We uh, over there, pre-colonial paintings over there, and the Spanish regime to the World War, and then to present day to enter revolution. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed today, and I think my favorite would have to be uh, the pre-colonial times. Because it's like something that I have no idea. Like I didn't live it, so it's interesting to learn about what was going on before. Really great time here, looking at the paintings. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about the history. It's like a hundred of years put into a summary. So I learned from um, from where we've started, like the roots, and up until now. And it's so much. Um, I'm, I'm, it amazes me how the Philippines has really progressed, the culture, the traditions. And I feel like we should continue on um, putting and engraving in our hearts the lessons of, from the history. And we shouldn't forget about these things because it will be it will serve as our guide. And I think the favorite painting that I've seen here would be the painting with the different women who have contributed in our independence. And it feels like as a woman, it empowers me to contribute to what is our present situation and I feel like every woman here should see it for us to be co compelled for us to have that stir to, to stir our hearts for the nation and for the Filipino people as well. So I hope that you guys listen here and um, enjoy the exhibition as well. Hi everyone, this is Lara and May Magnaya Bautista representing the province of Laguna. Um, this activity I've learned a lot again from our history to refresh my mind about what happened in a glimpse of the past. And of course, my favorite painting would be that painting wherein it talks about the women empowerment and it shows that even before we are we're empowered, the women are fighting for ourselves and just realize that even back then we are fighting, we are empowered as a woman. So we're here at Gateway Gallery and it's my first time seeing all the paintings here and it's so overwhelming to see all the art and it's a good backtrack on what happened in our history and how it's translated into art and I feel so feeling seeing all the beautiful paintings here because I know how hard it is to conceptualize and make these paintings na super nakakawaw. And then, yun nga, it's about our history as a country and the struggles that we have faced throughout the years. And I would love to visit again with uh, to bring my family and friends. It's a nice place to bring your family and friends. Gateway Gallery is a great way to entertain yourself about art and Philippine history. So come here at Gateway Gallery.